I think that I've been with the Black Stars for quite some time and Ghana football for 17 years. I've seen the downfalls, the lows and the highs and football is the passion of the nation. The president of the country has consistently said he's the first supporter of the team. We have been on radio and TV for far too long, complained and ranted for about uh, 20 years or two decades. Nothing seemed to change. And we think that the only language that people understand or leadership understand in this country is what? Is demonstration, peaceful demonstration. So we are just hitting the street peacefully to democratically express our grievances. We want reforms in the game, not about witch hunting, not going after any person's position or any person's uh, uh, I mean capacity. We want to see reforms in football from the ministry to the National Sports Authority to the GFA. The GFA are only a body that's been supervised by a ministry and the NSA. So we want to change the entire ecosystem of sports and we can do that by attracting attention to the game. That's why we are working. We want people to come on board and say that sports is bigger than we thought. It's no more recreation. It's the, it's the next revolution from the agricultural revolution to the industrial revolution. If countries like China, Saudi Arabia, Qatar, Bahrain are investing, Russia are investing in football, then we have to understand that the next revolution in the world is sports revolution. Thankfully, we have the talents and we have a comparative advantage in football. Why don't we invest and left it at the behest of a few group of people who are benefiting at the expense of the game? To four World Cups, 24 AFCONs. Why don't we have proper training pitches across the country? Why don't we have a national training complex? This is the reason why we are gathering football-loving fans across Ghana uh, on the 14th of February, on the Valentine's Day, to walk and express our love for the game. The GFA says, bring back the love. And we are asking on Valentine's Day, where is the love? It is as simple as that. So on um, 14th, we are calling on everybody to join us. It is as peaceful as you can expect. If you love football, parliamentarians have called to join, MPs, chiefs, the police themselves, the military, bankers. Everybody loves football in Ghana. There is a romantic relationship between Ghanaians and football, but if we see it die under our noses, uh, the, the, the next generation and posterity will never uh, forgive us. Reason why we have taken this upon ourselves to walk on the 14th and 9 a.m. at the Kwame Nkrumah Circle, where we walk through the principal street to present petition to the Jubilee House, to the Parliament, to the Ministry of Sports and GFA reforms, and then uh, we, we go back to our individual homes.